In Kenya, We Charity educates over 13,000 children a day. We've provided tens of thousands of people with clean water and health care and economic empowerment, especially for women. Our donors help fund these life-changing programs. And so when CBC started to suggest that we were not using that money as promised to our donors or misleading donors, that's a very serious accusation. It quickly became clear that the CBC simply didn't understand how charities work, especially in the international development sector. More than 125 donors who have donated the vast majority of the funding for We Villages Kenya projects are speaking out. They include some of the most prominent names in Canada. These donors have written an open letter to the CBC saying that they disagree with CBC's reporting and incorrect theories about donors to Kenya. They are the ones who've made the donations. Many of them have visited the projects themselves and they know how the We Charity model works. I am profoundly disturbed that one of Canada's greatest international charities has been completely decimated by inaccurate, uh, malicious manipulation for political gain that was based on not misinformation, but just no facts whatsoever. All of us have been more than thrilled for not just the partnership and the, the access to doing good, but the results. The transparent, clean, obvious results of impact. We Charity has hosted tens of thousands of donors to Kenya to see the projects firsthand. I have met with thousands of donors and they are not confused. They know how our model works. It's both about infrastructure and the operating of those schools. We Charity is not perfect. We always have a lot to learn. We are always doing our best, but this kind of journalism is just so poor. The real victims here are the children who will lose out on a bright future. This retired teacher in Canada raised money in her community of Mount Forest, Ontario. She traveled to Kenya three times to see the impact. Donna McFarlane agreed to do an interview with CBC's Fifth Estate, but only if they promised to hear about her true experiences. I totally believed in our CBC as being factual, providing the true facts and balance in reporting. And I hated that term, fake news. But I now am questioning what I'm seeing on CBC uh, because I'm wondering whether it's skewed to some kind of agenda that, they, that was predetermined. Donna launched a formal complaint with the CBC because of the conduct of the journalists who had come to her house to interview her. I stopped them at least three or four times during the interview to say, like, I'm concerned. I'm worried you're gonna somehow take my comments and butcher them to make them fit your agenda. And when I watched uh, The National the night that this was aired, I was devastated. I was also extremely worried about my community. Like, sorry, I'm gonna get a little emotional here. This was a very personal thing for me. This is not a wealthy community. People put their trust in me. Now over 50 educators in Canada, made up of current and former directors of education and superintendents, trustees and teachers, which represent hundreds of schools, have also signed a letter to support WE saying that they're not confused when their schools raise money for Kenya. I'm so confident that any money I raised or donated went to something terrific. And whether it was the actual glass windows in a school or the roof that was built or the books that were there or the lunch that was provided, I don't really care because I saw the, the effects. And, and you don't have to be an educator to understand the effects of education on a young child. We know the work that we do the impact that we make. And even with all this misinformation and attacks on our work to drive clicks and viewers, it should not impact children getting a chance at a better, more prosperous life. And our teams are not gonna let 
all of that stop. And that's why I shared this story, so people know that we are not giving up, despite all of this. What keeps me going? I, nothing in my whole career has been as fulfilling as working with community members who, who are so passionate to see change in their community. And that keeps me going, because if, if I look at every moment for me here, I would say it's a miraculous moment. You're meeting a mama who's um, VSLA or small group, they've just done some savings. By the time you walk to another region, you meet someone who is so excited that their child was unwell and they were able to access healthcare. Um, new school structure leading to more young boys and girls accessing education. Um, that, that keeps me going and seeing even things like knowing that someone is able to access clean water. I Just looking around every day, I, it's really exciting things happening within the community and that keeps me going.